Normally, when I tackle a new wipe in Rust, I generally have a grasp of what I'm going to be doing that wipe. This wipe, I didn't have a clue. I was running around thinking, hmm, what am I going to do? And that's when I come across this. The base has no windmills on it. I've never seen a base that big with no windmills. Oh yeah, we can definitely do something here, but I gotta get a little start first. Seeing a base like this gets me really excited. It's not too often you see one so large with no windmills, and no windmills means there's most likely no turrets protecting the furnaces. All I had to do was get a little start, and I was gonna try to get inside. Quit dodging! There we go. They coming out. Big. And he's got meds. Oh no, they got a turret. Okay, grab. Ooh. All right, I'm gone. I did get a couple guns, but I was feeling a little bit risky and I wanted to test my luck and try to get some more. So I headed to train here to poke around a bit. So the plan here now is just to camp and wait for a gear to get to come in because uh, I do have a gun, which was my original goal, but it is just a P2. Let's see if we can upgrade it real quick. No shot the crate is dropping here. Oh my God, it dropped the crate. And while I wait for potential counters, let's check out today's sponsor. Thank you to Rust Clash for sponsoring today's video. Rust Clash is an online gambling website with game modes such as Roulette, Upgrader, Plinko, Mines, Jackpot, and of course, Case Battles. If you deposit now using crypto, gift cards, and much more, you will receive a hefty bonus. And if you guys do decide to use the site, remember to use code TAUNTED to get yourself three free cases. Remember, you must be 18 years or older, and please gamble responsibly. It's been a minute, nobody's came yet. I kind of want to activate it, but at the same time, I feel like if I'm patient, it'll definitely pay off. All right, nobody's coming. I'm just going to activate it. All right. It's been about 13 minutes. Two minutes left on the crate. I don't think anybody's shown up yet. This is so weird. It's wipe day night as well. I mean, granted, it is one in the morning, but still, this is so weird. Oh my god, AK as well, man. Now right, we're out of here. Wait, I can build here? I might have to set up my main base right here. Right in the middle of train yard of them. I was pretty blown away that I could build right outside a train yard, and given that it was so densely covered in trees, this would make for a perfect build spot. But for now, I was just gonna snatch the AK and head over to their base to check it out. Wait, one guy just came out. Is he finishing the compound? Oh my god, he is. Okay, we're moving in. Okay, I think that guy's seen me. He walls that, really? No, I'm at ammo. Oh my god, this guy's so bad. Where'd he go? No. 
I made the biggest mistake and dragged my bandage into my wall slot, ultimately getting me killed. Of course, I wasn't going to let this stop me, and I got right back to it. All right, we're going to leave the AK in the stash for now. I think I'm going to try to get a little start at train yard and then build a base right about here. Ooh, oh, DB. Okay. Loot on the ground. He definitely went this way. Oh, there he is. I'm just going to rush him with a horse. Oh my god, I deleted him. Alright, we are out of here. Where's Outpost at? Pretty far, but I have a horse, so I'm just going to make the trip. Oh man, I didn't even realize he had 350 scrap on him. Oh my god, we gotta get out of here. Go, go, go. Holy shit, there's people everywhere over here. Oh no. Bad idea. What's this guy doing? Doesn't even have a weapon. Oh my god, dude. Exactly what I need for a base. Stack doors, stack TCs. Alright, I'm out of here. Oh my god, I can't believe we made it here. What a run. Give me a tier two going. All right, we are set. Yo! Horse guy. You got any food on you? Hey, yo, got some pickles. Let's go. You're a legend. Awesome stuff. There you go. Thank you. Those guys are actually legends, what the heck? Damn, they dropped me a lot of food too. All right, that's enough to give me half. After a successful trip to Outpost, I had everything I needed to build my base. Well, kinda. It'd be wood, but it would do for now. They're taking Ellie. Gonna be quick, might be able to snag some. These guys are kinda deep right now. I feel like they'll still take forever to take the heli, though. Yeah, they're, like, right next to ranch, too. What are the odds it, like, lands in ranch and I'm able to loot it? Hmm. Oh, no. Dude, if that rocket's my wooden base, it's GG's. Come on, dude. Okay, it's not a me. No way. I landed like in their compound, but it's kind of in the water. No way. Did it land in their compound? Oh, it did. It's coming out? What? Oh! No shot. Why would he come out?
No way, right? The C4 distracted them. What the heck? There's actually just no way I just pulled that off. Not only did one of them come out with heli loot, but he came out with two fully crafted AKs. Very questionable, but we take it. I hurried up and depoted, grabbed the two Molotovs I got earlier, and went out to look for a little base to raid so I could stack up on some resources. Let's go, dude. I didn't think it was gonna break it because the foundy was twig. Ooh. 200 scrap. I was shooting the exploit mode beta moment, but I don't think they're coming. Oh, they just left in a scrap alley. Okay, this could be good. If they all left in a scrap alley, I can definitely get inside and get all the loot. Wait, here we go. Oh my god. Okay, I need to get out of here. Um, what can I grab? Okay, now we gotta get out of here. I think I can get out on this side pretty easily. out of there oh my god they just got home too no way dude oh yeah that's pretty hidden Oh, he took my horse. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Since he took my horse, I'm simply just gonna push this car right to their doorstep and use that as a boost. Just did not mean to do that. Slow down. Ooh. Oh god, that made a lot of noise. How is he not seeing me? This guy's oblivious. Give me the python!
Oh my god, bro. Taking two full inventories off this group wasn't all too challenging. The real challenge now was staying hidden long enough until my base was finished. I waited for the sun to go down, and as soon as it did, I headed straight for train tunnel so I can farm some comps on the way to outpost. I'm trying to think what I need. I know I need gears for garage doors, but I think I also need a little bit of cloth. Not bad, a little bit of comps. Now I just gotta make it a post. Thank God I'm not rated. As soon as I depot, I noticed there was a crate at train yard, so I hurried up and went over to check it out. I don't see anyone yet, but there's definitely people here. I heard scientists shooting a minute ago. Oh, he has a supply signal, bro. A bunch of little grubs. Once again, it was a pretty boring schnook crate. Nonetheless, we got all the loot and then headed home. And now it was time to expand the base. There was no way I could live out of the 1x2 any longer. This base is so cozy. I'm like all up in the trees. Oh, I love this. I'm going to need to chop this one tree down though. Oh yeah, bro, I'm loving this. I'm not sure exactly what I want to do, but I think I want to put a wide gap on the north and the south side. Because I can't expand on the east side, and I'm kind of like an OCD freak, so uh, I think two sides instead of three. Get a door down here. Oh my god. When this thing's complete, it's going to be fully hidden. I'm going to have the whole thing green. Sorry, my boys. Oh my god. Bro. I don't even need to farm stone now. Oh my god. So far, so good. Everything was coming along very smooth. I had the base pretty much complete, and all I had to do now was hook up the electricity. Luckily, I had already gotten most of these BPs on the previous wave, so getting everything set up wouldn't be that difficult.
All right, that should work now. That's fire. I love that. Winning that train yard fight put me in a good position so I can go on PvP, and even if I lose, I had a lot of stuff to fall back on. So of course, I headed over to the large group to try to get some kits. Oh my god, these guys are so oblivious. Oh no, I'm about to do something so mean. Surely they try to raid me after this, right? Let's get by horses. What is he doing? Shoot at me. Fucking full pot. These guys are fighting right as on my base. Unlucky. Overall, I was up on guns and kits, but pretty low on everything else, so now it was time to use the rockets I got at the very beginning, along with some satchels that I just crafted up.
few floor. Um, I'm gonna go through the door for now. Make sure nobody's watching. Should be good. Nothing, nothing. Oh my. This shit is poor. Okay. Furnaces are kind of good though. I think I'm just going to have to go through the sheet floor. I'm going to have to come back when I get more satchels. No way I get DB there. What? Got the loo. A lot of wood. A little bit of comps. Okay. They have AKs too. That's good. A lot of comps. Jesus, man. Garage doors unlocked with a tier three. You gotta be joking, right? Oh. Okay, dude. Now, it took me quite a few runs, but eventually I was able to transfer everything back to my base. And just as I finished up, I had a visitor. Well, they know where I live now. It's only a matter of time. Now that they knew where I lived, I pretty much knew it was only a matter of time before I got raided. So I went AFK for a bit, and I came back when I heard my turret shooting. Oh, one's got a launcher. Oh my god, here we go.
counters are here. Oh, they have a raid base? No. Let's go, dude. I have so many AKs now. As soon as the raid started, it was pretty much over. The Thick Warriors turned this raid into an absolute grub fest. Not only was I sneaking around killing people, but there was loads of counters as well. At the time, I thought this was going to be their only attempt, but they came back soon after with a different plan. Bro, there's so many of them just cutting trees around my base. They're like trying to clear the forest. All right, while they're doing that, I'm just going to fill up a locker. Can't really kill them over and over. I'm just going to run out of ammo. Dude, they want full vision.
No! This would be so easy if I had meds, bro, but I just don't. Shot I died to a semi, man. Well, GG. After that, the raid was over. I had lost my last AK kit and full control of my base. Nonetheless, a very fun raid defense. Hope y'all did enjoy. If you're new, subscribe. And if you like videos like this, leave a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next one.